This is the car that could change everything you've come to expect about acceptable range from an EV, not to mention raise the bar for visual style and aggression along the way. This is the Mercedes-Benz Concept CLA class. Yes, just a concept for now, and one look inside of that flashy interior shows that this thing isn't quite ready for production, but Mercedes says that it's close, that we'll see something very much like this in dealerships within just a few years. It's a sneak peek of sorts then, of the car that will take a lot of the learnings from the Vision EQXX and bring them to production. The EQXX was another concept, one that was drivable, but was never really meant to be built or sold. It was something of a test bed, mixing extreme aerodynamics and a collection of advanced battery and electric motor technology to do upwards of 750 miles on a charge of a 100 kilowatt hour battery, the same size as that found in a Tesla Model S. The concept CLA class won't be quite that efficient, but it's also much less compromised for daily driving. Mercedes estimates that this car will do over 8 miles per kilowatt hour of battery charge for a theoretical maximum range of about 466 miles from what looks to be a 90 kilowatt hour battery. That's on the European WLTP scale for the record, which tends to be about 15 or 20 percent higher than the US EPA rating, but still we should be looking at a solid 400 miles of range on a single charge. That's a remarkable amount from a pack that size, aided, of course, by the CLA class's aerodynamic shape and its next-gen powertrain. The concept has a 235 horsepower permanently excited electric motor connected to a two-speed transmission. That battery pack, meanwhile, will be offered in two different battery chemistries, so buyers will have their choice of either silicon oxide or lithium iron phosphate anodes. The former is said to be the top-level variant with higher energy density, delivering more range and presumably more cost. I spoke with Mercedes CTO Marcus Schaefer, who said to expect somewhere around 310 miles of range from the less expensive LFP battery, which is still quite handy. But he said it's extremely important for Mercedes to offer this car at an entry-level price. Though, of course, he wouldn't tell me what that entry-level price would be. Both batteries are 800 volts, which enables some remarkably fast charging with compatible chargers. Mercedes says you can expect 250 miles of range in just 15 minutes. Also, that charging is bi-directional, so the car could theoretically power your home during an outage or even send power back to the grid during times of high demand. All that is part of the new MMA platform, which Mercedes says will form the foundation of the, quote, first complete family of Mercedes-Benz electric cars developed from scratch to put our Ambition 2039 on the road, end quote. Ambition 2039 is the company's plan to be entirely carbon neutral before 2040, including all of its suppliers. That's 10 years ahead of the global net zero 2050 goal. Now, if this thing is going to be part of a family, what will that family include? Mercedes said to expect a four-door coupe, a shooting brake, and two SUVs. The CLA is a preview of that coupe sedan shape, and it is a good shape, I think. It's far more compelling than the company's current electric sedans, the EQE and the EQS, but still carved with an obvious focus on cheating the wind. It also has a surprisingly angry face. Headlights angle inward in a scowl that looks decidedly intense. However, the rest of the car is far more subtle, with numerous shapes and overlapping surfaces. The inside is even more striking. The ambient LED illumination that's become a bit of a trademark on modern Mercedes is even more pronounced here, a bold ring that runs around the cabin which is upholstered in a stunning blue and white. It's easily viewed through a glass ceiling etched with Mercedes stars. Front and center in the interior is a box that says MBOS on it, indicating the heart of the new operating system that will control the car. That will be a Linux-based system, CTO Marcus Schaefer told me, but with a fully custom stack on top of that, all completely upgradable over the air, and he said, designed to be evolving with the car, forming what Mercedes said will be a constant flow of innovation. All that will run in concert with a separate NVIDIA drive system on a chip, which will handle the anticipated demands of hands-off level three driver assistance. That means this car will come with LiDAR too. Mercedes also used the concept CLA to unveil its child presence detection system, which will detect little ones left in back seats based on their breathing patterns. The car will automatically alert owners of the danger via their Mercedes app on their phones, and if they don't respond, the car will automatically try to get the attention of passers-by and even automatically call for help. Mercedes says the CLA will be initially built at Mercedes factories in Germany, Hungary, and China. That means no U.S. production for now, and by extension, no U.S. federal tax incentives either. But there's still plenty of time for that whole situation to change before this comes to production. And it's anyone's guess how close to production this car actually is. But I'd say the exterior, at least, is looking very close. 
Regardless, even if it does have to evolve, it's encouraging to me that Mercedes chose the CLA class as the starting point for this new generation of EVs. The CLA is right now one of the company's most affordable cars in the US. And while it's great to see jaw-dropping technology on top shelf really expensive cars, having it deployed on something that's a bit more attainable is even better. What do you think? Would you like to be seen in one of these and is 400 miles enough for you in the future? Let us know down in comments, subscribe for more videos like this, and as ever, check out all the news on Engadget.com.